Thank you. Thank you. So, um, what I'm going to do today, I, I'm going to show you lots of video footage, and uh, probably more than you really want to see, but I could watch dogs on video forever. Um, first of all, can you hear me if I speak like this? Yes. Um, okay, I'll make sure I project and I, I'll make sure I don't talk New York fast, because <laughs> that gets lost. Um, so, I've been involved in nose work for a few years. I, I'm totally hooked. I love it. It's like the sport that was made for me. Because it's, you're, you're the Jane Goodall, right, of, of the team. You're just watching your dog in his or her natural environment. And, uh, and then what you're also doing is you're giving this gift to your dog, the gift of hunting, the gift of allowing your dog to be a dog. And, but there's, you, the dog needs access. Like, you're, you're the important part, right, even though it's mostly your dog. Sport just made for me. I, I think it's amazing. I also, um, I feel like it can change the dog world, the, the pet world, because it's a sport where the average pet owner, and I don't mean average, they're not exceptional, I mean just average, like the majority of just pet owners out there fall in love with this sport, and then they can do it, and they compete. Like, what's with that, right? You, you, they, don't, they don't do agility that much. There's other sports out there, but it, this is so accessible. So anyway, I, I, I find it so heartening. I love it. I do not consider myself an expert on nose work. I am not a CNWI. I am not an instructor. And um, it was a few years ago that Dana Kreveling, who runs dogs, of course, and who organizes all the camps and everything. Um, I was heading for Georgia camp, and she asked if I would put together a, an evening presentation. And I, I said, on, on what? She goes, on nose work. And I'm like, I don't know anything about nose work that I could teach. And she says, well, why don't you, you know, put together a video thing? And I'm like, but I don't know anything about nose work. So I, I, I said, I'll film and see what I come up with. So I started filming. I went to different, I mean, I was going to seminars anyway, but I asked if I could film. And uh, something kept happening, and I, I finally started asking people, would that be helpful if I filmed this particular issue and uh, tried to teach you about it? And they were like, yes. And the issue was your dog gets distracted by dog odor or pees in the search area. Um, how many of you have ever had a dog, even in training, pee in a search area? How many of, your do how many of you have not had your dog pee in a, during a search in training or in a trial? What's that? Maybe I don't train enough. <laughs> oh. It'll happen. <laughs> and it will, right? Because it's not... It's not a problem that only certain people have. It's you're, you have a dog, and your dog is sniffing, and especially if your dog's outdoors, and it's a potty area anyway, or not, you know? So it'll happen. Um, it's, it's not like the bad dogs do it and the good ones don't. The bad handlers avoid it and the good ones, it's not like that. So anyway, um, the embarrassing truth is, I've been studying dog urination for years. Not in terms of nose work, but just in terms of urination. And, uh, and so it was a great fit for nose work. So I have the presentation on, on peeing. And then my other presentation is I just, after looking at all this footage, I, I, I created what's called an ethogram. And an ethogram is like a, a behavior library of behaviors that are common to either a species or to an, an event. So I took nose work and I said, what do most dogs do during a search? That would be helpful to excise and get, be aware of it so that we can all really see it and, and see it so that it's, you're not like 
having to think about it in the search, but see it so that it just gets internalized. So I created that, and I'm going to do that this morning as well. Um, and then in the afternoon, it's all about dog-to-dog -dog reactivity. And that is as it applies to nose work, but it is much broader than that. It is as it applies to life. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll get more into that.